Welcome back everybody to another week here at the Tullerin. We are working on Elias's loft again. Hopefully we can finish some of the joists and rafter support on the outside of the room so that the next few weeks we can finish the loft completely. We put the floor up and actually put the walls up and the, the doors so that that whole loft is completed. We want to reuse some of the joists that we took down of the loft that are right on one side. I'm going to reuse them, I'm going to cut them to length and basically use them as the end pieces because they're going to be the same height uh, exactly as the other ones. So when I want to put the, the beams up at the end of the rafters, um, I can just have the same thickness and I can, uh, it makes it easier to just work with existing structure.
we're making pretty good progress of the loft. You can see I added all the bracing in. So I have to do one more of the joint ba uh, choice base at the end here. And then I can put on some temporary flooring so that I can actually walk on there and get the door made. And then the next step also that we have to do is take out some of the rafters and joists that we have over here in the other section and finish um, finishing up that opening that is gonna be right in front of the loft. So the loft is gonna stop right here. Um, this is the last, be uh, last joist for the loft. So it's gonna be a pretty short, somewhere between six foot length um, loft. But I think this is actually a great layout for the kids, especially with Elias's room right underneath it. Um, this, this section is gonna be all open. So they have kind of like an opening for the loft and it's not gonna take up the whole space. So it's actually, Elias will get some vaulted ceilings on top of his room, partially of course with the loft in the way, but at least he gets some portion of it. So I think that's gonna make uh, his room really fascinating. Let me explain why I added these extra joist pieces on the outside. As you can tell here, they are about three and a half feet out from the wall but the roof line actually goes further back there. And I wanted to rebuild that section that was there before. And to do that, I needed to put a piece to the right length at the right spot. So it was already pretty hard to get these joists up in its first place. So I just made them the length that I needed to put them right on top of the wall. And I used the extra pieces to extend further out. And I wanted to give it enough, a lot of strength. So I made them extra long and screwed it together with the joist to just give extra support. I think this is it for this week. We have some family things going on the rest of today. So thank you for watching you. I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.